So I have one warden trapped already. And he's right over here trapped in between his own legs, which is kind of weird. Oh, my. but could you imagine what a hundred trapped wardens would look like? So here's the plan. I already mined out a giant tunnel that's over 2,500 blocks long that goes from my base all the way to the nearest ancient city. And I use this tunnel system to transport one warden over here. Now imagine if I transport a hundred wardens. This is going to be an insane project. So before we trap the wardens, let's build their home in this giant cave. So this doesn't happen while I'm building. And there's no way I'm going to mine the entire area by hand. So, uh, there we go. Say goodbye. Yeet. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, my God. And... Oh, what? I thought the explosion would be a lot bigger. And he didn't die? Are you kidding me? He's still alive? Okay, I see how it is now. You asked for it. Whoa, bam. Yeah, if you survive this, you can officially be my dad. And bam. And let's actually watch this explosion. I don't think it's going to be that big. Oh, my. Hey, I got some diamonds, though. <laughs> Oh. I then spent the next hour blowing up this entire cave to make enough room for 100 wardens. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Wow, I almost burned to death. And this is what it looks like. The TNT left a nice little pillar right in the middle, so I decided to leave it. But this is exactly where 100 wardens will be living. Next up, I'm gonna need a lot of skulk, and I'm kind of afraid to explore this ancient city. Would breaking this block alert this thing? Um... Yes, it will. Yeah, let's just get out of the ancient city and collect my skulk somewhere else. Oh, God, I did not mean to spawn that guy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Time to get out. So the first thing I want to do is cover this entire area with some grass blocks. And I know grass doesn't seem that fitting for a warden's home. But trust me, I'm going to try to transition the grass into skulk and make it look super cool. But first, let's cover up the floor with some grass. So I got the entire grass floor laid out now, and it's pretty small, but I want all 100 wardens to be kind of tight and cramped. But now let's start working on some Western styled homes right over here. And as I was building the frame for the first home, the skeleton kept annoying me. Yeah, go away, you loser. But I first started working on the deck of the house and then started working on building up the pillars. Once that was done, I started building some very advanced windows, then started working on the second floor. It looked pretty good i think <laughs> ah i'm a bad builder but i thought there was too much oak plank so i started adding some oak logs and stripping them and it looked a lot better then i started working on the next house and all of these houses will have a different style And I finally finished the second house. And you might be thinking the western styled homes and the grass doesn't match what a warden would live in. But trust me, I'm going to add some skulk later in the video. And I'm going to make the entire place look infested. Kind of giving some Stranger Things vibes. Anyways, let's start working on the homes over in this corner. There we go. We got a small little house right here. And let's build a bigger one over here. And there we go. This might be my favorite house out of all four of these. What do you guys think? Now let's add some finer details like some hay blocks in these corners to cover it up so the wardens cannot escape. Having a warden escape and roam around your base seems kind of scary. Let's try to make it look a little more natural by adding some deep slate behind the hay. And I want these houses to look a little more real and not just a flat front. So let's finish up the walls around here so it looks like it's actually a house when really it's not. And one of the last things I want to add is sort of a little train track up here at the very top. So let's add some andesite. I think that's a good block to use. And all I need to do now is add some little slabs every second block. And there we go. And since there's a cool cave opening right here, I feel like it would be pretty cool if there was like a water stream coming down. So let's just slap it down right here and see how big it spreads. I'm really hoping it just stops somewhere. I don't want a too big of a water stream. Let's just mine this. Please, please, please stop here. Please stop there. Please stop, please stop. Wow. wow, I'm clutch. I'm so clutch. And the last detail I want to add before adding some skulk blocks are some barrels. Let's make a butt ton of these with all the wood I got. And let's just slap them over in this corner right here and over here. Let's also cover up this empty space with some deep slate. 
Now let's finally start changing up the grass into some skulk blocks and start making this place look infested. And I have some pretty cool ideas, like adding some leaves to these Western homes, which I haven't done in any of my builds recently. So let's put a bunch of these around. And what I want to do is kind of make it look like it's being transitioned. And I think adding some actual green vines would be cool. So let's just grab some of these and try to make it look like it's being transitioned a little bit from the skulk veins to the green vines. I think that's a really nice touch. It kind of makes the house look pretty ugly, but that's exactly what the wardens are. So it's a perfect fit. But don't worry. I... Bruh. I got even more ideas and I can even take it one step further by changing up these blocks into some deep slate so it looks like the ancient city a little bit and it just makes it look like the entire house is being infested I think that's a pretty nice touch it is pretty ugly though I would admit that but let's work on the western houses later and focus on the ground here and let me just test something if you put a skull catalyst down and if you take a random mob I guess the slimes will only test subject come on buddy and I heard if you kill a mob beside it oh it spreads now let's start placing some skull blocks and make the ground look infected now that the floor is done let's start transforming some of these homes let's replace these logs with some polished deep slate and some over here and some of these logs with some deep slate bricks and now for the leaves So I have one house left and I'm not going to lie. All these leaves and vines make this place look very ugly. It just covers up the entire house with like poo, but I have to do it. Let's finish up this final house. Okay, I think the entire area is complete and ready for the 100 wardens to be crammed inside of here. All I need to do now is build a thick glass wall right here to separate the wardens from myself. And now let's start building the great wall of glass. Protect myself from the wardens. Now is the moment you guys have all been waiting for. Let's start transporting all 100 wardens from the ancient city over to here. But before I head over to the ancient city, let's quickly build a small wrestle machine that will make a bunch of noise. And I'm hoping this will attract the warden from there over to here without me doing anything. That way, I have a less chance of dying. It is pretty annoying though. Now let's start the process of transporting the wardens. I do want the tunnel to go right into the ancient city though. So that means we have to remine half of the tunnel. Let's start the pain once again. Okay, this is taking a while. Whoa, bam. Okay, let's get it started. Let's try to explore it a little. Oh, I might have spawned the warden already. Please don't spawn. Okay, we're good. Let's just walk up here and see what's inside that chest. Yay. Okay, that wasn't too loud. There's wool here, so I can run. And oh my god. Two enchanted golden apples. That was very lucky. Ooh, I see one over there. Let's make it run for it. Uh, oh, wait, there's two. And what block is this? Why does it look like there's a creeper face on it? Did I break it? This is... Oh, chiseled. I'm dumb. Okay, this has... Okay. Oh, I should probably have a totem on. Um, that would be pretty safe to have. Let's piss him off, actually. And let's go towards my tunnel. Oh, God. This is so scary. I cannot see anything. Why oh, there's so many noises? Hello. Oh, he's right there. All right, buddy. Come to me. Ay, ay. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, we have the first warden. All we gotta do is transport him like 2,000 blocks. Oh, God. I did not fix that path. Ooh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, God. Why do you need to get in my way? Okay, we have finally made it. Come on, buddy. Live faster, daddy. Come on. All right. And let's just try to fly away. Hopefully, he gets targeted by the sound. Is he still on me? Oh, no. We, we got a warden on the loose now. No, he's seeing me through the wall. He was supposed to go to the sound. Okay, let, let's go back here then. Um, Now he's underneath the entire thing. Oh, God. What do I do now? Okay, I need to build a quick pathway. I have no idea where he is, but let's make a staircase up. Um, While he's gone, let's just build a little railing so they can't get loose again. Like that. And... Let's fly over here. Oh, he's right there. Come to me. Hello? I think his computer froze. Why did, why did he just stop? I'm right in front of you. Ah, right, there we go. Oh my god. Let me fly up here. I don't think he could reach me up here. Come on, man. Use your brain, please. Oh god. Okay. Bunch of golden apple. This is harder than I thought, guys. Ow. Okay, let's put another totem on. I really need him to come this way. Oh, he's here. He's here. Come inside. Please tell me he's in here. Oh, he's in here! Okay. He's in. Now, if I fly away, I'm hoping he gets targeted to the trap door and the piston. So let's fly far away. Oh, wait. 
He could despawn right now. Oh, God. Let's grab my name tag. He will be Ugly Boy V2. And where is he hiding? Is that him? Oh, he found a home already. Okay, let's eat one of these. Let's fly down. Take that. Oh, go, go. And there we go. We got Ugly Boy V2 just sniffing around his new home. Oh, God. Oh, no. He's going to find his way out, isn't he? No. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, he found his way out. Oh, oh. Oh my. Okay, well, I got him back in and I redesigned this part so he can't climb back out. Now, let's repeat the same exact process and collect 99 more. This is going to be painful. All right, I got the second warden. Oh God, he's catching up. Oh God, oh God, oh God. <laughs> Oh my god, this one's quicker. This guy's quicker. He's got some legs. Oh my god, how? How is he still reaching me? Here he comes. Oh wee. That guy came quick. Just around the corner, okay. Um, I'm pretty sure it'll be easy for him to get in now because I fixed up that area and is he? Oh, he's in. Let's go. And that guy's focused on the piston. It honestly looks like that warden has a like three IQ. He's just so focused on that piston. But now let's grab a name tag so this guy doesn't despawn. Oh, I forgot a name tag. Well, he's probably going to despawn, but let's try to go quickly grab one. I have 10 right here. And let's come up with some very unique names. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Please don't despawn. Are you still here? Oh, he's still here. Nice. Yeah, I'm lucky because I built this pretty close to my base. Let's come down here and... I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I just got very scared. Now we have Ugly Boy V2 and 3. And it looks like they're pretty good friends now. And they're both fascinated by the moving trap doors. But it takes me around 12 minutes to walk from the ancient city all the way home. And if I want to move 98 more wardens over here, that will take me approximately 1,176 minutes. Or 20 hours of running. Well, uh, wish me luck. Oh, I'm not excited for this. Okay, can I name him right? Oh, I did. Okay, that's the third guy. That might be the easiest way to name them. Let's try to hit him with an arrow. Oh, I got him. Oh, hit him again. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna be happy with that. And let's start running for another 12 minutes. <sighs> don't worry, by the end of this video, having 100 wardens trapped will be amazing. Just keep watching to see how insane it will be. Okay, I should have the third warden trapped inside here, I hope. Okay. Yep, he's in there. And he really wants me. Hello, sir. I'm not scared of you anymore. You can't do anything to me. You know why? Because I'm trapping your entire family and your ancestors and your next future generation of children. You oh, oh, my. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. 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 It's a warden without arms. Isn't that funny looking? <laughs> and here he comes. <laughs> Welcome to the family. That makes a total of four trapped wardens. Ow. Here comes the fifth. Welcome to the family. I'm wondering, is there like an unlimited amount of wardens just chilling underground, ready to climb out? Like, this is like the sixth guy i think and they just keep coming they don't stop let's go buddy we don't got all day let's get some more name tags and let's continue this madness come on stinker and here comes stinker ready to stink up the entire room <laughs> here's the ninth okay we have just passed 10 wardens trapped i feel like that's already a world record in minecraft history but uh, we're gonna times that by another 10 but i read a lot of your comments from my previous video and you guys just told me to put down some skulk streakers and spawn it in from here and i'm pretty sure it doesn't work like that like if i place this down and make as much noise as i can a warden will never spawn it has has to be in the right biome. I wish it was this easy. It would literally save me 18 more hours of my life. This guy will be named Hi. Hello. <laughs> okay, I need to go. I need to run. I need to run. Get out, get out, get out, get out. This guy will be Preston. Next up, we got Nestor. All right, we got our boy Sandiction. Ugly as ever. Oh, God, oh, God, oh. Oh, wow. He was not happy I said that. We got our boy, Mr. Breast right here. Always wanted to meet you. All right, that makes 15 trapped wardens. I can't wait to see what 100 trapped wardens will look like. But I need to go grab some more name tags because I already ran out. But the best way to get name tags is to trade with some librarians, I think. What is going on? What is happening in here? What? what? Oh. Yeah, I, I see it enough. Let's give some of these guys some jobs. Let's grab some emeralds. And let's continue trading with these guys until I get the name tag trade. Hey, there we go. That was pretty quick. There we go. We have 85 more name tags. This might be the stupidest idea I've ever had in my life. It's going to be insane though once I'm done. Well, let's continue this madness and start collecting even more wardens. Oh, God. And 20, finally. So is this what you guys imagined? All right. All right, all right. As I was saying, is this what you guys imagined 20 wardens would look like? That is very weird. <laughs> oh God, look at them chase me. <laughs> How do they smell me through walls? What? All right, let's name this guy Jax. And this is definitely the best warden just because his name is Jax. 
We got Bob here. We got ourselves a Kamal. We got ourselves a Cross-Eyed. I would like you guys to meet Idiot. We got a five head right here. Dinner Bone, but I misspelled Bone. So now it's Dinner Bone in Lexi. We got Thomas Idiot and Mac. And just a progress update. This is what 30 Wardens looks like. All trapped and going crazy over a piston and a trap door. And trapping those 10 extra Wardens took me about two hours and 30 minutes. This might be the most painful thing I've ever done in my life. But we're not stopping anytime soon. <laughs> This is probably the craziest thing I've ever done. We are halfway there with 50 wardens trapped. My ears right now are just being molested by all of these wardens. Well, like I said, we're only halfway there. the final 70th warden and i got kind of late oh, oh, oh my that guy is very aggressive i was gonna say i got lazy with his name yeah j just look at it but there we have it 70 trapped wardens oh that guy's aggressive we are getting very close to having a world record honestly it's already a world record i can guarantee that we only have 30 name tags left and they're just having a mosh pit over there <laughs> That's hilarious. I wonder how long I can survive just being in the middle of that. Honestly, I, I don't even want to try. This is pretty crazy. But now let's play a little game. Let's see how fast I can trap one warden. Let's name this guy Willie. And starting now. Ooh. Oh, wait. Oh, what? Where'd he go? Okay, that doesn't count. That doesn't count to the added time. The guy just left. He didn't want to be trapped. I guess word is spreading around. I'm trapping their nephews and cousins and everything. Okay, he's spawning. Let's call him Willie. And let's go. Come on, we don't got all day, Willy. Willy Wonka, let's go. Let's get those legs moving, buddy. Oh my K, okay, yep. He wants to move. Wait, that's pretty genius. He could give me a speed boost. Oh, okay. Never mind. Come on. We gotta break the record. And this part is the slowest part because he kind of bounces his big, broad shoulders against the walls because he's just so chunky. Come on, man. Hurry up. You know how you could hit a horse to make them move faster? Could I do that with the warden? Like, come on, buddy. Let's go. Oh, yep. I think it works. I should have brought a speed boost potion or something. Or made the entire ground ice. Because that would make my life so much easier. I've been transporting these wardens for over 10 hours already. Okay, we're almost there. We just passed the Amethyst Geode. And that tells me we're close. Come on, Willy. You got this. Everybody type, let's go, Willy, in the comments. Oh, my God. The amount of noise over here. Come on, Willy. Yes. Oh, he has made it. I can't really see him making it, but I'm sure he made it. Pause the time, and that only took six minutes and 30 seconds. That is half the time it normally takes to transport these guys. Oh, God, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. You guys can't hurt me. I'm your father. I brought you here to this new beautiful home. I am your daddy. Respect me. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Yep, I see how it is. But this is already pure chaos, but it's gonna get even crazier. Because we still need to transfer 30 more wardens. And this took me around three to four more hours. But eventually, I got left with the final warden I needed to transport. And right here, I have the final guy. And I'm gonna call him Final Frank. Here you go. Oh. That was a little dangerous, but that is the 100th warden. Let's get him in here. Let's fly over here. And it seems like he has walked in. Final Frank. Yeah, it is. There we have it. We have officially broken the record for the most wardens trapped in Minecraft. But let's just say the last 30 wardens the trap wasn't the easiest thing to do. Oh my. Okay. Oh, leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> you can't touch me, boy. Oh, okay. I, I take that back. Oh. oh, I'm getting stuck on the wall. Oh. Uh, what? 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 What did I just run into? What? But after all that pain, the final thing I need to do is decorate this entire place and make a nice viewing area so I can sit back and watch all 100 wardens. So this is going to be a pretty difficult way to build this because I'm always going to be making noise. And I don't think the wardens are a big fan of this. But I do want to add a nice wool layer so I can make the most minimal noise as possible while I view all of the wardens like a zoo. Oh my god. This is going to be very difficult. Let's just fly away so they de aggro me. Did it work? I feel like it didn't work. Yeah. Uh, very evidently. <laughs> 
Oh, God. Oh, that is not good. That is not good. Okay, place as many as I can. I need to remove all of these blocks here. I don't think they're that happy. None of them has attacked me yet, which is uh, a really good sign. This might be the scariest thing I've ever done. Like, transporting the wardens wasn't that bad, but building beside 100 wardens is uh, a little freaky. Now, let's put a little wood contrast border right here on this path. This part, I gotta do as fast as possible right here. Okay. I need to leave. I need to leave. Ooh. And while I was building this, I had to be very careful. So yeah, my heart was racing pretty bad. How does he know? I didn't make any noise yet. How? Out of all 99 wardens, this guy's woke. He has the eyes. He has been mutated to have eyes. I swear I didn't make any noise yet. So I brought down the wool path a little bit, but all of these blocks are in the way. So I have a pretty bad idea that might make me lose the entire hardcore world. We won't know until we find out. Okay, if that blows a hole into that glass, we are really screwed so please don't so far so good this could end very badly if one tnt flies into that wall okay i think so far we're good and i think the wardens have gone deaf because they don't hear this tnt blowing up right beside them which is kind of funny because hearing is their strongest sense but since i was safe i continue blowing up the cave just trying to be a little more careful because if i have a hundred wardens get released into my hardcore world everything will be over now that the entire area is more cleared out let's continue decorating but since my home is on that pathway up there let's start building a quick staircase out of wool and now we have a safe path all the way down to the front of the window where i can view all of the wardens and i feel like they won't hear me right i can just jump around make as much noise as possible yes nice and my idea for this area is to make it feel safe and welcoming while behind the glass it feels like a laboratory where i have trapped 100 wardens and the place has been infected and i think i did a pretty good job doing that by adding some grass and some greenery to the area it's looking pretty snazzy in here the last thing i want to do is add a few pillars going from the ground up to the top of the cave here so it looks like the entire cave is being supported up in a way the main viewing area is complete and all i gotta do now is fix up this pathway nice and that is how i trapped 100 wardens in my hardcore minecraft world this video took over seven days to complete so please subscribe and goodbye